I'm gonna have to see what I just lost or didn't lose because I was talking. I look up and I'll set my phone's off. It's not a bad little hike though. But, um, little story about the the caves. Um, all this area that you see all out that way at one point um, used to be Lake Lahontan. Uh, I want to say, and I may not be 100% accurate with the dates, but back in the 1800s, um, it was rumored that there were these, like I said, light-skinned, red-haired giants that would come and they would hunt the, the Washoe. Yeah, and the Shoshone. The Washoe and the Shoshone Indians. So they would actually lay traps for them and capture them. And the crazy part about these giants is um, they're rumored to be cannibals. So they would eat their victims. Um, and when they weren't doing that, it was told that they would uh, dig up graves and eat the corpses. Um, they said that the thigh, the thigh area was the, the, the juiciest, the most, I don't know, I've never eaten a corpse, no one do I ever want to find out. Um, but at one point, um, the Indians grouped together and they decided to chase um, the giants across uh, Lake Lahontan and to this, to the cave that we're going to. Um, they chased them into the cave and they gathered wood, put it in the front of the cave and stood back, lit the arrows on fire and shot it at the, the entrance trying to uh, smoke them out. Um, there's two ways in. There's the main entrance into the cave and then there was a side entrance. Or like a, it's not even like a rear exit, but there was another way in. And so they almost tried to uh, ambush them. And they did kill a couple that came out of the cave, but the remaining giants that were in the cave, um, they never came out. They died. They burned to death. So, um, this we just found by accident. Um, there was something on Fallon 411 and it led to a YouTube channel we checked out and just gave us a little bit of the history of, of these. So, I thought, what the heck, might as well do something a little different um, between this one and the next, invasion, uh, and next investigation we want to go do, which is the, uh, the Donner Trails, Tunnel. or Donner Tunnels, sorry. We're on a trail currently, but uh, yeah, I mean, look at all this. We're literally out in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's kind of nice. Quiet. And we are the only ones here. There's nobody else here. It's just me and my camera woman. And my little bag of toys. And, uh, yeah, we just wanted to show you this place and we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually do an investigation and see maybe, you know, because of the, the history behind the cave and what happened, that maybe, you know, we might actually capture something. So, whoa. Yeah, this is probably one of the areas where I'm going to slip and eat shit. So. You good? Good. Okay. But this is kind of like my last little 
thing I get to do at the moment. Um, my real job, my normal job, I've got to work uh, the next two weeks straight. So, look, it's a lizard. Don't turn your back on me. Tell me, have you seen anything paranormal? Mm hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm not believing you. Eight foot giants? Well, we're just gonna have to go find out. Yeah, my dumb, dry sense of humor. But it's worth it. Somebody will laugh at it. <laughs> you can't laugh at your own jokes. So you can see. And that was the road that we took in. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone away because it's going to look a little, I don't know, a nice little climb. But we'll show you this little sign down here first. And then, uh, yeah. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, guys. Uh, just had a little bit of a down. And now this... <laughs> This is the trail up to the cave. So, yours? <laughs> so we'll just, it's not too bad. I mean, don't need climbing gear. Definitely want to wear some good shoes though. And you can see it's a popular location. I mean, there's a lot of footprints, but look at all this stuff. I mean, that right there looks like the perfect spot for R2-D2 to come, you know, hide in when the Jawas were walking by. Yes, I'm a Star Wars nerd. But at one point, they actually had, like, four of the skulls um, on display at the museum. And then, mysteriously, out of nowhere, they're like, yeah, we don't have the skulls in our possession anymore, nor can we confirm that they ever existed. So something happened somewhere, and it was kind of just swept under the rug, so to speak. Um, but it was rumored that they found a... Uh, in the lake bed, they recovered a eight foot tall um, skeletal remain. You know, look, we got company. Somebody else was like, hey, let's go check this place out. So, yeah, we'll go with this route and then up. So it may take us a little bit to film this place just on the fact that we have another car coming up here and well, I don't want any other audio contamination from people. I don't know if I give you guys today's date. Today is October the 6th, 2020. Ooh. Look. Oh. Holy cow. Are you kidding me right now? This is awesome. Hello? Anybody here? We, uh, we don't mean you any harm or disrespect. 
No. Crawl back out this way. Oh. Oh my God, it's the men in black. They found us. I don't know how, but they found us. <laughs> really? Hey, what? At least we don't have the plutonium. I know. Back to the future. It's awesome. Wow. I mean. If you like that, this is the place to go. Oh, hey, Patrick. Yeah, come on up here. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, fuck my life. Well, yeah, we're keeping that in the footage. Holy shit. Woo. That's a rattlesnake. That was a rattlesnake. He needs to go. No, he's taking off. Woo! <laughs> so I hope you all appreciate that looking scream. Holy shit. Scared the absolute you know what out of me. <laughs> uh no, not a scared ghost, but I hate effing snakes. Yeah, he just curled up down there. So we're going to leave him alone. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that thoroughly because that was my manlier scream. So <laughs> definitely going to have to watch where I'm stepping because I did not expect to see a, a rattlesnake in, well, I mean, it is still kind of warm out, but. He didn't him. even warn us. He's just chilling. He's a little one. That's yeah. even worse. <laughs> so I hope y'all appreciated that. <laughs> oh. No, we're not staying here long. Scared the absolute you know what out of me. Yeah, I don't do well with snakes. Patrick doesn't like bats. I don't like snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Because we live in the desert? No, that was an Indiana Jones reference. Oh my God. <laughs> you have so much to learn, young one. Ooh, see, look at all these scorch marks from the fire. Wow. Like, this is freaking cool. All right, let's turn this flash on. Well, the flash is on. So, but yeah, look at all this, guys. I mean, this is... They had a lot of bats in here, so um, they extracted uh, a lot of the guano for um, fertilizer. But you can see that there was there was a fire in here, so I mean there is truth to that part of the story. This is wow, yeah, this is kind of cool, guys. Not ooh. They kicked the rock. Okay. Swear to God, there better not be any freaking snakes just chilling over here on the deck. There are, you're on your own. But yeah, check this out, guys. Yeah, I really hope y'all got a laugh out of that. Because I about... place is amazing. Like if you guys live here in, you know, northern Nevada, this is definitely, um, definitely a place we're checking out. Like, this is cool. Um, this place was discovered by, 
I want to say some miners back in, I'm going to say 1912, 1920s? 19, I thought it said 1911. So 1911, 1912. Um, and uh, this place is um, under one of Nevada's historic... Uh, Preservation. Preservations. So, like I said, they did a, a bunch of digging in here. Um, they found what they think was the first, um, one of the first, like, duck decoys made for, for hunting. Um, skulls, bones. I know if you want to see more of what they found, um, I think you can... Check it out at the Humboldt Museum. Pershing. Huh? Pershing County. Yeah, but I think that's where the everything was at. So yeah, this might be a place I want to come back to at nighttime when there are no snakes. <laughs> but it was just a, a, a quick kind of impromptu, hey, let's go investigate this place. And, Gonna check it out. So I'm gonna take some pictures, of course, um, for my Instagram, and uh, I'm gonna pull out some of the gear and uh, see what we can capture. All right, thanks, guys. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Um, yeah, we just paused things. They're still at the entrance of the cave, but I had to go warn them real quick about the, uh, little oh, snake that maybe see Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting for them to get a little further down the hill and then we'll, um, we had the SB7 on for a little bit, but we didn't catch much. Um, we might do a sensory deprivation, but um, once I know they're a little bit further down the hill, we'll go ahead and we will do an EVP session. So um, as far as other like animals, um, there's a couple of bats uh, back there in the corner right there. I promise you that's my finger and not something else poking. <laughs> Um, sense of humor is getting worse and worse. Yeah, my sense of humor is pretty bad. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. how hot do you guys think this had to get to burn this rock like it did? I mean, that's a heck of a choice to stay in and burn to death, then try and escape with your life and then get shot with arrows as you're trying to exit. I think they're far enough away now. We can go ahead and yeah. do an EVP session. So, digital recorder is out. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's a Trex day. All right, here we go. It's uh, EVP session number one in the Lovelock Caves, October 6th, 2020. Is anybody in here with us? Can you make yourself known? Can you throw a rock? That was me moving. Is it true the giants that were said to inhabit this cave that you guys were cannibals? Can you tell us where you were from?
how many of your of your kind existed? And why did you, why did you eat? Why did you eat people? Why did you dig up corpses and eat them? Is it believed that that by eating them, you know, you would consume their their energy, consume whatever powers you thought they may have had? Do you know where we are? All right, let's go ahead and play this back. <laughs> hey, match it on the camera. <laughs> So I'm going to play back that EVP session just now. Is anybody in here with us? It can't be that easy. Is anybody in here with us? Wow. Did you hear that? I did. Can you make yourself known? Can you throw a rock? That was me moving. I was like, what was it? It wasn't paranormal. It was me. He got all excited. Is it true? The giants that were said to inhabit this cave that you guys were cannibals. Can you tell us where you were from? How many of your of your kind existed? Was Why that? did you did, did you hear that? I did. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. We were both standing still. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Why did you... Why did you eat? Why did you eat people? Why did you dig up corpses and eat them? Is it believed that... that by See? eating them... Again. You know, you would consume their... Okay, let me stop this real quick. So twice now we've heard like a, a thunk, like a thunk. But her and I, we didn't hear it while we're actually standing here doing the session. But it's twice now on the playback that we've heard something. Consume whatever power you thought they may have had. Do you know where we are? Alright, so that was kind of interesting. Um, might have been one little thing at the beginning when we first started it, but like you said, when I like to do these, I like just to set them here, hit record, that way you get less amount of contamination as possible but we heard two distinct like i don't know like thumps like knocks but when we were doing the session we didn't hear it not with our own ears not until we hit the playback um yeah i mean is it paranormal that's why we're here so <laughs> um we'll go do a second evp session um, up there at the top, 
at the uh, main part of the entrance. See you. See the kitchen beneath there. sounded like. Right, but we weren't moving. But we weren't moving. And I didn't hear like a distinct like <clears throat> footsteps. But I mean it's pretty But it doesn't do that on the bottom part. Yeah. It only does it up here. That's weird. Well <clears throat> we'll do another EVP session right here. In fact, you know what guys? I'm gonna be a dumbass and head down that way. I'm gonna go set this digital recorder on one of those rocks. Um, the snake bites me and kills me. Go fund me, please. Here, <laughs> take the flashlight with you. Oh yeah. Thank you to uh, to Mama J for the uh, nice new red flashlight. Please, don't fail on these snakes. Don't eat me. Well, what that taste though? So, disclaimer, please be safe when you guys are doing stuff like this. Like I said, I scream like a girl. And she's like, oh my god, the snake. And I scream because, yeah, I just don't do snake stuff. So, EVP session number two. Is there anybody back here with us in this cave? Mm -hmm. you. Now that I heard. You can see there's nobody else here with us. Is there anything you want to do? Can you toss a rock? Can you make another noise? Can you tell us how? How you died? Did you burn to death in this cave? Or were you one of the ones that made it out only to be shot with arrows and then died outside the cave? know what I'm saying might not make any sense to you. Um, sadly, I don't speak your language. But if you could reply back however you, however you can, it would be uh, greatly appreciated. Were you descended from giants? Where were you from when you had red hair? Are there any children in here? Did any children die in this cave? It almost kind of sounded like it was there. <clears throat> yeah, but it takes a lot for you to get it to move. Yeah. That's right. Let's 
so that we capture this. We have to capture it anyway. Oh, let's go to bed. Session number two. Is there anybody back here with us in this cave? Oh, is it nice? Like that? Is there anything you want to do? Can you toss a rock? Can you make another noise? Can you tell us how how you died? Did you burn to death in this cave? Or were you one of the ones that made it out only to be shot with arrows and then died outside the cave? That was next to the digital recorder because I wasn't holding. Oh, you know what? That might have been my flashlight. When I was zooming in and out, so you won't. When you clicked it on. Yeah. I know what I'm saying yeah. might not make any sense to you. Hold on. I know what I'm saying might not oh. make any sense to you. So it kind of sound like a like a breath, um, like a. Sadly, I don't speak your language. I know what I'm saying There's might not there. make any sense to you. Uh, sadly, I don't speak your language. But if you could reply back, however you, however you can, it'd be uh, greatly appreciated. It'd be uh, greatly appreciated. There's something there. And. It'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Were you descendants of giants? Where were you from that you had red hair? Are there any children in here? Did any children die in this cave? I keep hearing shuffling or something. Like that. So <clears throat> sounds like we caught um, like a breath. But so, like I said, is it haunted? That's why we're here. We thought it'd be something different, um, something that was quick and easy, something I can um, try and, you know, distribute for you guys so you guys have some more content to watch before uh, we do our next investigation, um, which will probably be in about two weeks, only because my work schedule, I got a couple of, uh, I got 15 days straight after today I have to work. So between trying to edit all this and then uh, I know Mama J I'm not supposed to talk about it so you won't see this right away but last night's uh, special investigation which I can I still can't tell you where I went or where it was but it was really cool and uh, you guys will get to see that um, hopefully in the next I want to say hopefully in the next three weeks um, it's not a project that I'm in charge of I did film um, for some of it last night, and I have about 55 gigs of 
video and EVPs that I have to help go through um, for that. And that was um, part of the team that, that I'm a part of, uh, the Northern Nevada Ghost Hunters. Um, it's going to be a busy week. Uh, I said I start back to work tomorrow, Thursday night. Uh, we have our Gold Hill Ghost Tours up in uh, on Gold Hill. Uh, two tours a night, and then I think starting in November, it's just going to be once a month, um, just because it's going to get colder. Uh, the weather, you know, can be unpredictable here in Nevada. And then Saturday night is, I'm just going to burn the candle at both ends. Um, I've got to work, but at the same time, uh, the Crown Point Mill, I get to go help with a special investigation for that. So rather than go home and sleep and get ready for work the next day, I'm going to go up there and investigate, and then hopefully I'll get a few hours of sleep before the next day. Um, thank you to everybody that's liked and subscribed to this YouTube channel. I mean, it's been overwhelming. Like, I've only had it... Um, since what, Friday? Thursday? Friday. Thursday. And um, as of this morning, I was already at 91 subscribers. So thanks to thanks to the Hana side for having me on their little live stream that they had the other night. That definitely helped. Um, word of mouth from New Reality, Crow of Judas. And uh, anyone that saw the video, Jason and I were in the same. So we're not... Two different people with the same people. Um, but thank you guys. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, I appreciate it. We're hopefully this is something that's going to take off and we can keep filming videos. And right now I'm just trying to do all the places I know I can get into that are free, that I'm not trespassing on, that, you know, until I can get that, that level. Patrick, Patrick's way up here. Me. Yeah, right here. That's me. That's where I'm starting. So maybe in a few years I'll get there. But thank you. And uh, this is Big Jason signing out. All right. So I figure since I filmed coming in, I'm going to film coming out. That way, if I die on YouTube right now because of that damn snake up there, these kids are going to be wealthy. <laughs> you guys are going to get some more entertainment with me screaming like a girl. But uh, Patrick, real quick, um, yeah, I think this is a place, dude, that you and I need to come back out and uh, investigate in the dark when there are no snakes outside. There's only a couple of bats. Just bats. And, yeah, I'll protect you. <laughs> Again, uh, the haunted side, the new reality, Crow of Judas, Little Anthony. Northern Nevada Ghost Hunters. Northern Nevada Ghost Hunters. Um Please go like and subscribe and follow these guys. Um, they're, they've helped me out a lot, and uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, you won't ever be disappointed with any of the content that these, these guys put out on, uh, on YouTube. So, yes, I'm walking like a little girly man but i don't want to surprise motherfucker in my face from a snake <laughs> yeah i probably will but i'm not making any money off this right now anyways youtube so it's okay no snake no snake This is one of those moments where all I have to do is push somebody down and I will be fine. That's not funny. <laughs> so <sighs> funny. You went and it fucking scared the shit out of me. Damn it. Okay, this is a really difficult decision. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think at this point... It'd just be quicker if I just ran and jumped that way, like off the ledge. I'll take a, a few broken bones compared to a snake bite in the junk or the fatty part of my butt. 
God, I really hate this. Like, throw rocks at me. Say demon. Say unholy. Throw a piece of wood. Hey, you know what? I am okay with that. Put a damn snake out here, and it's a whole nother ball game. Pretty sure Patrick feels the same way about that. So Patrick? And that giant bird inside the <laughs> As much it's crap as I close. give you about bats, I know I'll probably get the same crap for snakes. Well, snakes are deadly. Bats are... Um, okay. I feel a little bit better. Maybe. Yeah, because before I'm like all willy-nilly. I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. A whole different ball game coming down now. Okay. Oh no, I don't care about coming down. I care about the damn snakes. Whoa, give me the paranormal any day of the week. Um, snakes? Yeah. You are the spawn of Satan. Oh my god. <laughs> I, yeah. I will take a tumble down that <laughs> than any snake. Rattle or not? That one's a rattle. Yeah, it, it doesn't need to be a rattlesnake for me not to like it. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed that scream as much as <laughs> the one giggling behind me did. Because the funny part is, you screamed and I didn't. Oh, I, yeah, it wasn't just a scream either, it was like. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you were also a lot closer, so we'll give you that. And like I said, I had the camera, so I'm just walking around, not even paying attention, and bam! Of course, the little kids that came in after you thought it was cool and wanted to go find it. Yeah, yeah. Kudos to those little kids that came in here. There's a snake! I'm like, yeah! You don't want to mess with them. So this is a little trail coming down. It's like a mile and a half. It's like a, um, what they call a nature loop. F nature. If it involves a snake. You wouldn't want to come up here. Yeah, next time I'm coming in the middle of the night. Then you can't see them. I don't care, they'll be sleeping. Not necessarily. They don't like to, the, yeah, they're going to be sleeping. Don't. Okay. You keep telling yourself that. I am. You Patrick can come up here in the middle of the night by yourself. Yeah, Patrick, I can just he can just carry me like Yoda in a backpack. We will be fine. Uh who was the one that wanted to go on the nature trail? That's right, that was you. Oh, it's not a dry creek bed. This is a cliff of death. Not really. It just looks a lot higher. But said so at one point, all this that you're looking at, this is all Lake Lahontan. This is all underwater. So I'm going to end it right here. Again, guys, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And uh, we'll see you all on the flip side.